Hi guys, you're welcome to the Laroy Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the Android gestures, in which we'll be looking at the pinch zoom uh, gesture in uh, a picture in Android application. Android provides special types of touchscreen events, such as pinch, double tap, scrolls, long presses, and flinch. These are all known as gestures in which the Android provide gesture detector class to receive motion events and tell us that these events correspond to gestures or not. So to use it, you need to create an object of gesture detector and then extend another class with gesture, gesture detector uh, simple on gesture listener. So we'll actually be looking at that in this course of this application so that we are going to uh, have the pinch zoom on uh, a picture called Kaula. I'm in the Android Studio where I have my build gradle, uh, the module and the project session. Uh, I can I, we still keep to our dependencies, which is the default dependencies, uh, the support app compact and the support design 23.4.0. I'll be moving straight to the rest to the rest folder. We'll talk about the layout activity main XML. Uh, there's a relative layout with the layout with a night match parent. The padding bottom, left, right, top are all 16 DPs. We have a text view where we have the text view one as the ID, and the text on it is pinch to zoom in or out. An image view follows, which is actually going to hold the picture of Kaula. Which we get from the source, the drawable color. Uh, let's look at the picture. Uh, you should be familiar with this uh, picture right from the Windows uh, uh, default uh, installation. Get this picture. I'll look at the strings XML. Uh, we only have the app name, the action settings, and the, the hello world will be pinch to zoom in or out. From here, we'll be moving straight to the main activity, which is the logic, where we imported our, the activity and the graphics metrics, the motion event, and also the scale gesture detector. These are very important when you need to uh, do some gesture detector. The main activity extends activity, where we have four fields, the image view, the matrix where we've instantiated this already and created an object for it with a new keyword. We have the float scale. No, the scale is in a float data type. And we have the scale gesture detector, giving it an object called SGD. Our onCreate method uh, actually set the content view to the activity main, where we need to initialize the IMG we call on the ID image view one, which is holding onto the image. And the SGD, which is the scaled gesture detector, we instantiate with a new keyword, new scale gesture detector, this particular class with a scale listener. Now we have the untouch event. Well, about the motion event, uh, object EV is the parameter. The SGD calls on the untouch event based on the EV parameter and returns true. We have the scale listener that extends the scale gesture detector that I talked about earlier, calling on the simple on scale gesture listener that's listening to the gesture. We have in it uh, a public boolean method called on scale that passing the detector. Now the scale multiplies the detector whereby it gets the scale factor. It multiplies it you know, to get the value of the scale. There's a math uh, function here or a math method. But by the float, to get the minimum math scale and try to uh, scale it up using the matrix so to get the right proportion of uh, the pinch zoom. That's just what that's doing. So we pass this, the set image matrix to the image uh, object created here. Now the uncreate option menu, fine. This is a uh, menu. We actually 
thing you use menu this is just the short uh, clips of how to actually get the image view in the XML to to get uh, the gesture the pinch zoom gesture in play with it because we actually call the image view right here you notice with the ID image view we pass it into the SGD our manifest is still uh, the default manifest where we have the launcher activity the main activity the label pinch zoom now I will be testing this in a real device because I'm not using a touch screen uh, monitor so uh, I won't actually be able to uh, enjoy the zoom with my with the tips of my fingers so I actually tested this in a real device and it worked well I'll be showing you the screenshot of this you can also do that uh, test it on a real device and if you have a touch screen monitor you can go ahead to use an emulator uh, here we go with a screenshot uh, the pinch to zoom in or out now I have the picture of Kaula uh, when I lay my two fingers right on this picture to zoom out to zoom out rather I have a larger view of this up to the largest you can see I have more than this but it's just going to get out of uh, the desired dimension so even you can zoom inwards to a very smaller uh, uh, dimension meaning the item width is going to get quite smaller than the default size of the picture all right thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and uh, now you can integrate pinch to zoom in your image view uh, pictures and use it uh, in the course of improving the UI of your application. Thank you once more and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.